Here, we'll learn two ways to simulate the upload of a new product to a list. The first will be the easy way, while the second will be slightly more advanced. We'll use the Datamaster product that we've created in previous tutorials. We'll use it to upload a new product to the Datamaster through a sign-up form. On the first page, create a sign-up form containing all the attributes of the data master. Remember that if you move the data master to the canvas, the whole form will get created automatically. Now we'll add a button that, when clicked, will insert the new product attributes in the data master. Add an on-click event to this button. Choose the data master action and just click on new. A new dialog opens and you just need to drag each text field to its respective square. Each square matches an attribute of the data master. Now we just need to create a new screen with a data grid listing all the products. Link the form button to this page and that's it. Now when simulating, you can enter a new product and you'll see it appear in the data list on the next screen. In this more advanced tutorial, we'll use the same data master as before. Let's start by designing a new sign-up form to introduce a new product with all its attributes. We'll go on and create a confirmation dialog showing all the information introduced by the user. Finally, we'll see how the new product is added in the table containing all the products. First, let's create a sign-up form using the label and text field components. Note that if you move the data master to the canvas, the whole form will get created automatically. Create a variable for each text field in order to say the data that the user will introduce in the sign-up form. Drag each field to its respective variable. This is the easiest way to save a value and use it on another page. After you've created a new confirmation screen, link the form button to the screen dragging and dropping it on the new screen in the list. In the new screen, drag as many labels as you've got variables and link them to the variables by dragging each variable onto a label. Doing so, you'll create automatically an onload page set value event. Design a confirmation button and add an onclick event. Choose the data master option and click on new. A new dialog will open and now you just need to drag and drop each element on each square. Each gap represents one attribute of the data master products. Add another event to let you navigate out of the screen to the product's data grid. In this last screen, we're simply going to show all our products. When simulating, this screen will appear once the user confirmed the creation of a new product.